Hello, this is Benham, and in this video, I'm going to show you about the modified SARP ratio MSR. Now, let me tell you the origin of this ratio. So, the ratio is developed by Israel Shan in his paper that was published in Journal of Asset Management in 2005 and in my other video you'll also find that i have used exactly this data to show you the usefulness of modified sar ratio but here we want to talk about number one the computation number two comparison with the sar ratio and uh, therefore also the usefulness of the modified sar ratio as compared to sar ratio and uh, this is the case mainly when the excess returns are negative so in this example therefore what i have done is i've created two portfolios or two funds fund x fund y and you can see that now i can compute excess return which is simply the formula in the denominator he in the numerator here which is excess return of the portfolio take away the risk free rate so that's something I can compute here for both fund X and fund Y. And when you will see the formula in the case of modified SARP ratio, this also has the excess return on the numerator. So let's compute the excess return which we need for both the SARP ratio and the modified SARP ratio in the numerator. So excess return therefore will be the portfolio return or the fund return take away the risk free rate so in this case we are going to get minus 15 percent whereas here it will be minus 12 percent so if you see on the basis of excess return you will be able to find that fund y which has lower negative return is performing better as compared to fund x because the negative return here is higher this in the in the form of the basis point it, this is a difference of three percent points so it will be equal to 300 basis point so 300 basis point better return generated by fund y so that's about excess return now let's see the standard deviation the standard deviation which gives us the volatility is lower in case of fund y and this is 200 basis point lower in case of fund y so therefore both in terms of excess return and the standard deviation fund y is as you can see is better okay so that's what we can see therefore we would assume we would understand that fund y is doing better but what does SARP ratio tells us about this two fund then so let's apply the SARP ratio formula which is simply excess return divided by the standard deviation so here we find the excess return already that's minus 15 percent take away standard deviation which is five percent therefore we get uh, this number here minus three or minus 300 percent which is the SARP ratio for fund x if we do the same for fund y we get minus 400 percent so on the basis of the SARP ratio what it is telling us is higher SARP ratio is better hence fund x here is performing better but this is not what we found through our observation of the excess return and the volatility we found that fund y in fact is doing better this basically means sarp ratio is misleading here giving us the wrong decisions so let's now use modified sarp ratio and the formula is here given similar to the formula of the SARP ratio except that the standard deviation of the portfolio or the fund it has the exponent of the excess return divided by again the excess return but in absolute term i.e if there are any negatives it will be eliminated so let's apply that to see how much we get in terms of modified SARP ratio so that's excess return divided by the volatility which is a standard deviation power what we need now is the excess return here 
um, that's minus 15% divided by this time absolute of excess return again which is minus 15% close bracket we need second bracket as well so that's application of modified SARP ratio and that's what we get so let me copy it across to fund Y and see which for now is doing better so you can see um, that fund Y has higher modified SARP ratio, therefore fund Y is doing better. This basically means modified SARP ratio is consistent with our prediction, therefore fund Y is doing better and hence the SARP ratio is misleading here, whereas the modified SARP ratio is giving us the correct decisions. So now, um, just in case you want to be simple in terms of the computation of the formula for modified SARP ratio, what you can do is you can simply uh, simply multiply the excess return with the standard deviation of the fund. So something like this. So the excess return is negative 15% and you multiply it with the standard deviation 5% you, and you will get the same result as before which is 0.75% so that's what you are going to get uh, even if you apply this formula approach uh, which is excess return times the volatility but if you're applying this formula then you need to make sure that the excess return is definitely negative so this then basically means we can apply the same formula approach for fund Y as well. Um, so uh, that was a quick illustration of modified star ratio, which also showed you why modified star ratio is a better tool to use when it comes to the case where we've got negative access return. Thank you very much for your time and thank you very much for listening.